Dream to become the next Sir Isaac Newton or Albert Einstein? Learn physics from Professor Saborno Isaac. <laughs> I told you the problem is two colored on board, sucks. This is the problem I told you to solve. Ah. 
Oh, I get 2.943. You switched up the masses. Yeah, so I switched up the masses. Two point nine. I switched up the masses. Okay. Hold up. The mass of the board had nothing to do with this. Yeah, okay. it's 2.943. So, uh, we can see that the R2 or X is going to be equal to not a, a 2.9 or about 3 meters. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, for the closer answer, 2735 or 737 for the mix over, just a little. That's it, Professor? Yeah. So that's okay. Can you redo this problem, Professor, so I understand? Because I did not understand anything. Can you erase everything and start again? Because my brain, as you know, sometimes go backward. Okay. So, this is a very simple problem. Erase everything and uh, not the diagram, but everything. and. Explain what what is going on. Why the two boy or girl sitting on the on the wood? It's not it's not wood. And why do you pronounce it like wood? Uh, okay. You pronounce it like wood. Okay. So yeah, go ahead. Explain it. What's going on? So there's a thirty kilo. So say that there's a thirty kilogram child sitting on a two point five meters away from the fulcrum of a seesaw. And there's a 25 kilogram uh, uh, child sitting on the other end of a seesaw. So, uh, can everybody hear? Explain the whole thing again, Professor. What, I, what, what, what the problem? What, what is the problem over here? What's the problem with this explanation? I just started again and you're asking need to explain again. Oh, uh, because I didn't understand it. What? what? Okay, one more time. So, say there is a 30 kilogram child, 2.5 meters away from the fulcrum, and a 25 kilogram child, 3 meters away from the fulcrum. Uh, no, so to keep it in equilibrium, how uh, many meters uh, far from from the fulcrum does this 25 kilogram child have to be? Oh, that's what we need to find, right? Yes. Uh, should we use the torque or should we use the... Torque? So, the, yes. The formula that we can get like F equal to something. Yes, we have to use torque because we know sigma t equals to zero. Oh. So F on R1 must be equal to F2 R2. Professor, don't block what you write. So, 30 times 918 times R1 is going to be 2.5 equals to F2 R2 is going to be 25 times 9.81 times X. So first 30 times 2.5 is going to be 75 times 9.8 equals to 25 X times 9.8. Now, uh, 75 times 9.8, uh, would somebody like to calculate that for me? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What do I have to calculate, Professor? 75 times 9.8. Okay. 75 times? Nine, wait. Uh, I see something. I don't need, we don't need to do this calculation. We can just lock the 9.8. Okay, so we get exactly three. Wow. Good job, Professor. But according to some back of the envelope calculation, it should actually be 2.997286 blah blah blah. Which is actually a huge difference. Yeah, yeah. Totally. So what is the answer, Professor? The fraction 2 over 737. It's totally a huge difference. So, no, help me understand. The 25 year old boy is. Not 25 year old. Okay. 25. 25 year old man is 3 meters away from How the. How do you. Why? There are 25 year old man. And 25 kilos. Child. Oh, 25. Uh, yeah, I messed up with my SI unit, as I always. So, I think it's an SI unit now? Yes. Who knew? So, 25. Kilogram boy 
is three meter. Oh, you didn't even write the as a unit over there. Where? Uh, three meters. I don't. No, I don't see it. Oh yeah. yeah. So at 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 twenty five kilogram old boy sitting Wait, three meter. Like twenty five kilogram old boy. Oh yeah, no, doesn't make sense. So 25 kilogram boy sitting three meter away from the fulcrum, whereas- But uh, at the starting point, at the starting position, you don't know that. That's what you're trying to find. The distance of the 25 kilogram boy from the fulcrum. All right, so what made it possible is that they don't have the identical mass, right? If they do have the identical mass, then the, they would just need to stand the same distance and move. We're done. Subscribe to Bari Science Lab to fall in love with math and science, especially programming.